He says in verse 19, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Now, this last part is the result of that power. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Right. See, I know very honestly, very few Christians actually believe that enough that are walking in it. They, they can quote it, but then it's, well, yeah, but what about this? But then this, and, what, and then I did this, and, it's, and it's always something. No, it, you have to realize the one who gave you the power said nothing shall hurt you. And it's his power he's giving you. Listen, dunamis is not just a bit of power that God has peeled off of himself. It is his power dwelling in you. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is God and he dwells in you with his full power. So whatever you face, you have already been empowered with the power to defeat it. End of story. Now, again, if you don't know how to use it, it doesn't really do you much good in having it. Now, he says here, and notice we've got different words. And then he says, notwithstanding, in verse 20, in this rejoice not that the spirits, devils, are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Why? Because the kingdom is yours. Don't just get all excited because devils listen. No, devils listen, sickness listens, mountains move. All of that is yours because your names are written in heaven. Amen? Now, the first word power is the Greek word exousia. And it, it literally means in the sense of an ability through, through authority. And it means to have a force, a capacity, or a competency. Think about that. Having dunamis in your life gives you competence. You're, you have the ability to deal with whatever. Now, when I was in North Carolina, I was actually talking a little bit about dunamis. And I made a statement that I said, it is a power that cannot be resisted, which is a good definition. But it's not as accurate as, as it should be. Actually, I should say it this way. It is a power that cannot be resisted except by a superior force. Now, what that means for us is, see, we have a power that the devil cannot resist. End of story. Why? Because he's not a superior force. Now, the devil, now look at this next part, because he says in the second part of verse 19, he says, I give you power, authority, and that's an, an authority at that sense. He says to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. That word power is dunamis, and it literally means a force or a power that cannot be resisted except by a superior force. Well, guess what? We are the superior force to the ability of the devil. Notice he doesn't have authority. He only has ability. And we are that superior force. We are the, see, until the church understands that we are the body of Christ. That means we're his feet, we're his hands, we're his eyes, we're his ears, we're his mouth. When I stretch out my hand, the Holy Ghost has nowhere to go but out. Why? Because he's in here. Amen. Like I've said before, and I've, I've said it many, many times, I, you know, I've asked people, how many of you want to see a move of God? And everybody, oh, yeah, yeah. And I go, there you go. You just saw one. Why? Because he's here. I didn't move so quick that he got left there, you see. When I move, he moves. Matter of fact, usually he's already moving that area, which is how I know to move. And the most of the time, I don't even know it's him telling me to move, but I'm just moving with him. And then I look back and go, wow, that was God. People say, well, well but I want to know I'm led. The Bible doesn't say you'll know when you're led. It never tells you that. He didn't say you'll know when you're led. No, he says you'll hear my voice. You'll know what the truth is. But he didn't say you're going to know when you're led. In hindsight, it's 2020, right? You'll know when you're led when you look back and realize that was God, right? right? Why? Because otherwise it ain't faith. You have to move in faith. Amen? Amen. So, now, uh, and well, I already gave you that definition, so I'm going to move on to this real quick. Every time Jesus commissioned any person, all through the Gospels, he always gave them power, at that time, exousia. And literally, he never gave them dunamis at that point, not till later. But he always gave them power, exousia, authority, over all sickness and disease and over all devils to cast them out. Notice he didn't give you authority over devils to play with them. 
to talk to them, to carry on conversations, to try to videotape so you can get some you know, hits on YouTube. No, he gave you authority over them to cast them out. Why? They are an inferior force. You are a superior force. 